Welcome to Star Trek Theory, where we look at ideas, theories, and speculation on everything Star Trek. Let's dive in and continue breaking down a recent trailer of the new Picard series. If you haven't seen that already, definitely check it out. Who is Dodge, and could she be the new Borg Queen? So in order to answer that, first we need to look back and establish who or what exactly is the Borg Queen. Our introduction to the Queen was in First Contact. Picard remembered her from when he was Lakutus on the Borg Cube, and according to her, she's been around far longer than that, pulling the strings in the shadows. I remember you. You were there all the time. The Cube and Bess of Vofors was destroyed. So how does she show up in this movie? A ship. And all the Borg on it were destroyed. You think in such three-dimensional terms. How small you've become. So to me, that statement is pretty vague. But it gives a clue as to how she can keep showing up again and again, even after being killed. Here's a new idea. What if the Borg Queen represented something else completely? What if the initial Borg that formed started off as an AI? An AI that became self-aware and that began to expand and start assimilating organics. What if the Queen is the host to that AI? In essence, the AI inhabits the host like a parasite, taking it over. She would be the Borg because the AI is the Borg, just like she claims. Yes, I am the Collect. Are you their leader? I bring order to chaos. An interesting if cryptic response. Why would the AI need an organic host? I don't know. But clearly the hive mind needs some kind of control system and the queen is that. So what if the Borg AI needs a certain type of person or species with a specific DNA set? Some specific genetic markers that make them especially compatible? Maybe there is a species that is best suited for being queens, with telepathic prowess making them perfect hosts to be able to mentally control all of the other Borg drones. If that were true, the Borg AI would want to have clones of the main queen body or just have other members of the same species at hand, ready to become the new queen at a moment's notice. This could actually explain quite a few things. First, it explains how the Borg Queen was able to be killed in one movie, and then turn up across the other side of the galaxy in Voyager. It wasn't the same host. It could either have been a clone of the original or a sister of the same species, activated right at the moment when the first was killed. The Borg AI took this other person over, and it became the new queen. It also explains the Borg Queen's infatuation with Seven of Nine, as she herself could have been a backup host and possible future queen. It also explains the Borg babies kept in maturation chambers that Riker and Worf came upon in the first cube. Could these babies have been from the species that the queens are made of? So how does this tie into the series? If we go on the previous video's assumption that the Borg have been infected with a Borg virus that has disconnected their implants and left them individuals but still connected mentally, then let's also assume that the Borg AI just didn't have enough time to activate a new queen. The backup host bodies could have been destroyed when the Borg matrix was destroyed, but those Borg babies were still alive on some of those Borg cubes. 20 years later, and now they're all grown up and the perfect new host. What if Daj was one of those babies? She would have been bred to be a Borg queen in waiting, completely unaware of her role. She could have been a baby in the maturation chamber when the Borg virus took out the Borg collective. The Romulans came upon the disabled Borg cube and turned it into a prison ship. And she was raised by the survivors on that cube, completely unaware of who or what she was. And here's what she had to say about that, which could back this up. I played Dodge, and um, she is a young woman entering a very new and exciting chapter of her life. Um, yet, a horrible tragedy strikes in her life, and that is what sends her on a journey to find Picard, uh, looking for answers and looking for help. 
Clearly some Romulans have figured out who she is. She's basically become a target for what she has the potential to be. Ultimately, even though the Borg virus removed the Borg implants, the Borg AI itself may not be dead. Since the AI is essentially software, it could have continued on and it needs this new compatible host hardware to inhabit and be able to return and reactivate the Borg. So the Borg AI needs a host to inhabit to become the queen and that's what makes her dangerous. She's the end of all. She's the destroyer. It could also explain her ability to fight since Dodge being a member of this Borg queen species could have enhanced strength and mental prowess. She's innocent and doesn't know about her real potential, but she has all this power lurking under the surface. If the AI manages to inhabit Dodge as a host, the Borg would essentially be reactivated. All of those former Borg in the cube and elsewhere could be controlled instantly. That is why Dodge is so dangerous. And it's gonna be Picard's role to help this innocent girl and stop the Borg AI from taking her over as the new Borg Queen. But we'll have to wait till the series and see if this is what Dodge really is, or if she's something totally different. There's a lot of other theories about Dodge we might explore in future videos, but comment down below and tell me what you think about Dodge as a Borg Queen in waiting theory. And if you haven't, definitely subscribe now for more ideas, theories, and speculation about all things Star Trek. So thanks for watching and Trek on!